Hello Automation and you are lovers. Welcome back to KT Sessions. In this tutorial, we are going to see the use of list package in the Automation Anywhere A360. So we have this package list and there are a lot of actions for this package we can see. So let's see the use of each action and uh, list variables in the Automation Anywhere A360. A list is a collection of ordered values. The values can be of boolean, number or string data subtypes. Lists are a versatile data types that can be used for variety of tasks uh, such as sending an email to multiple recipient, searching multiple web addresses, storing data that is dynamically generated during the execution of a bot. So if you want to save more than one value, you can use list. If you were to create a list variable, you have to go to this variable tab and uh, click on add and here in the uh, create variable dialog box, enter a name, uh, my list and in the data type or type drop down, select list. And in subtype, you can give the subtype like I mentioned. Uh, a subtype could be a boolean, string, number, etc. Uh, let's say I'm creating a list for a string uh, subtype and uh, click on create. So we have this uh, list. Now we want to add items in the list. So there are two ways to add items to a list. Uh, first one is manually. If you want to add, man if you manually want to add, then uh, follow are these steps uh, first of all in the variables menu select the list variable and you want to add items to so this is a list variable in which I want to add uh, elements and I click on add we can see this add button and here we can uh, insert the values so let's say I want to give a uh, first value and it will store at uh, 0 index and next will be store at 1 similarly you can add multiple values uh, I mean, as per your requirements, you can add uh, multiple values here and then click on apply. So now there are three variables in our list or three items in the list. So if I want to see the items, I can use this action get item and here I will select the list. Uh, it will be my list and index. So for example, on the uh, index number two, we have a uh, Okay, I have created a variable and uh, I'm saving the result in the variable and uh, I will use a message box to print that value. Okay, so we can see the name is printed Shami. It falls on the second index of the list. And uh, we can also add the uh, items using this action add item. Let's select this action and uh, give the name of the list and item to be added whichever item you want to add you can select the variable if that uh, item is stored in a variable you can use that for example if i use name and here you can select uh, where you want to add the item if you are going to append this in the end of the list you can check this otherwise if you want this item at a specific index you can use add list index so i am adding this item at the end will uh, get the items from the list and it will add the same item into the list so we are we can see this uh, item so now next one is uh, we have added the items now we can also remove the items from the list uh, to remove an item from a list use the remove item action uh, it is available here and uh, in the list variable field uh, we have to uh, select the list variable from which you want to remove the item we are using my list so we will uh, use it's like this and in the index number we have to give the field uh, index number for example i'm giving zero and at zero we have uh, uh, virat and we are storing the result uh, again in the my list so now see so first of all we will remove the item from the zeroth uh, position or the zeroth index and then we will uh, print the zeroth uh, we will print the value uh, means we will get the value from the zero index let's see what will happen at zero as of now we have virat 
but uh, after removing see what we we get. additional list operation and automation anyway auto a360 ka also provides a number of other operations that can be performed on the list uh, such as sorting a list we have a option to sort the list uh, rewards a list okay apart from these options uh, we can see uh, assign uh, if we want to assign something to the list uh, for example if we have this list variable and we want to assign this to another list so we can do from here as well uh, it means this action this assign action we have uh, for all the data types uh, actions uh, pack packages means for string for numbers for other all. so we can assign one list to another list and uh, next one is clear if we want to clear the list so we can select the give the list name and it will clear the list uh, i mean it will remove all the items from the list next one is join items uh, if you want to join uh, items for example if i have this list and uh, i'm using delimiter delimiter but uh, and i want uh, means it will give all the values in a collection or uh, in a string it will uh, join all the items of the list and uh, use this uh, comma for uh, separating those and uh, it will store the result in the name variable from uh, we got this result from the string sorry from the list join action virat comma rohit comma shami so you can uh, get all the values in one variable next action is set item uh, if we want to update the value means uh, for example we have my list and uh, add index 2 we want uh, to like replace this with a particular value let's say with name we are replacing this and streaming the result in the output and in name i am assigning a value for example in name i am giving dhoni and uh, we are seeing this in name now see so first we are assigning dhoni to name and uh, name we are update um, we are updating the value of the item which is available at the index 2 with the, this name and we are joining all the names and we are printing those now earlier we were getting Koli, Rohit, Dhoni, Koli, Rohit, Shami. Now we will get Koli, Rohit and Dhoni. The value, the item at index 2 will be replaced by Dhoni. Okay and uh, we have one more uh, action, uh, size. If we want to check the size of a list, we can use this size action. For example, if we want to see how many items we have in our list, uh, we can use this size action and and here we go we have total three items in our list so we are getting three in the result means if you want to append a list into a data table we can use this action here we can uh, create a table and uh, we can select the index means where we want to append our list as the first index last index or specific index of the table we can do so in this table we don't have any another column so i'm appending this to that first index we, we may have to like calculate uh, something in a data table and we have to append one list into data table as well so we can use this action so these are the some actions which can be useful uh, when we are working with some uh, large data or with the like uh, data of employees students and so there can be multiple employees, multiple students. So we can't use only one variable to like get the data. So we use this type of list and in list we can save all the data and we can use it. So these are some actions of the list package and uh, this and I show you like how can we create the list item and how can we add items and remove items or how can we clear the list and we can join the items as well for our further calculations so thanks for watching this video guys do comment your doubts and queries if you have any